Blender for noobs. Hello and welcome back to Secrets of Blender Modeling, Modeling the Berkey Spacecraft in Part 11. In this part of the tutorial, we are going to look, be looking at the materials, assigning the materials. So just to briefly go over our last section, uh, what you should have done by now is go ahead and name all your parts and consolidate them so that, for example, in my case I have uh, the ones that I call greebles, which are all the different uh, details that we created there. And even though it's a fairly complex spacecraft, we have a uh, really a short list of separate parts. And uh, just looking at the ship here, we want to make sure that you have your first, second, and the final layer over here, which is the solar panels. So just those three. And when we look at the modeling that we've done, um, on mine I have 67,000, just over 67,000 faces, which is really a lot less than what I thought I would end up with by the time I got through doing all the details. Now, like I said, I am going to be adding a few more, but it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't bring it up to much more than 70,000, hopefully. Uh, if you have a lot more than that, it's fine. Um, as you go, you know, continue in your modeling endeavors, um, you'll probably find that you'll find different techniques in order to lessen your polygon count. Um, really not a big deal unless you start getting into trying to animate and, uh, you know, decreasing your render times. So let's go ahead and get started with our materials. I'm just going to take these windows here and just move them over a little bit so we can see our spacecraft better and yet still have the materials window over here. And I think what I'm going to do to start out with is look at the greebles, uh, select those, and right, right now by default I have um, just a flat white on them. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another material and just call it the Greebles material, just in case I want to add any uh, just basic texture that will cover all of the the, uh, the different details that we have here. So I'm just going to do a plus to create a material, do new material, and I'm going to call this just the Greebles. And for right now, I'm going to keep it at diffuse and keep the defaults and just change the color, maybe bump up the white a little bit. Same with the viewport color. And basically select this one and change it to the greebles. And then we can actually move this from that list. So effectively what we've done, we just basically renamed, uh, we're keeping our flat uh, white material, but we're just adding another material and by doing so, we've also been able to keep our other, our flat black material. But in actuality, that material was just a placeholder as well. What I want to do with um, these black areas is make them glass. So we're going to actually create another material. And we'll just call this glass. And we'll come down to the surface and change this from the fuse and make it glass and you'll see your preview window change and usually on glass what I like to do is change the color a little bit especially when I'm dealing with like spaceships and things like that I'll give it either a yellowish tint or maybe a bluish tint just to make it a little bit more interesting and maybe not quite that much something like that okay so now that we have the glass material in our list I can come into the Greebles tab in edit mode and actually come in here. An easy way to do this, I'm going to A, make sure everything is deselected, and then I'm going to choose the black material and choose select here. That will choose all of the uh, black faces. And actually, I do want, if I come down here, I think I want this to stay black, this part right here. So let me choose faces and I'm just going to C and use my C tool, my middle mouse button and deselect that. Just make sure everything here is what I want to be glass. So it is. 
then I can just come down here, choose my glass material, and then assign. And basically what that does is reassign that material onto the material that you had selected, which is a nice, easy way to do that. Okay, so now we are gonna look at, we're gonna, we're gonna leave the um, details at that for now. And we're gonna look at more of the, the bulk of the ship here. And I'm gonna choose this outer thing, the thing I called hull underscore center underscore outer. And I'm gonna come up with a separate material for this. Now, before we do this, let me, let's go back to our image, our reference image. Okay, and we absolutely don't have to make it look, you know, as far as the colors, we don't have to make it look anything like this. Uh, you can feel free to come up with any color scheme that you want, uh, that you think your spaceship should be. Um, when you do your textures, you can put writing on it, whatever you want to do. But what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is I'm going to be coming up with something like this. I want, I like this kind of white bluish look that it has. And maybe the real purpose of that is sort of like uh, a reflection of the earth. But when I, when I do the, when I do the textures, I want to come up with that sort of, sort of a color scheme. So let's go back to the outliner here. And before I do that, maybe the best thing to do is, is just go down the list. That way I'll make sure that I don't miss anything when I'm uh, getting ready to assign the textures or the materials here. So backdrop, we don't need to worry about. Bridge is something that we need to worry about. Um, I don't know yet if I'm going to make it anything different than maybe what the uh, greebles themselves are. So I'm just going to uh, use that one there. But I do have windows in here. So I'm going to tab in edit mode. And let's go ahead and take care of uh, the windows. And we just need to, I'm just going to C-select these areas that would be windows. Or the glass part of it. Or port part of it, whatever you want to call it and add the material and then since we've already created it we can drop down here from our list and choose glass and assign and also something that uh, is good to do a good practice since we don't really see any change in the viewport here uh, just change the viewport color to something that represents our our uh, windows that way when we uh, look at our model from a distance, we can see that, yes, we've already assigned these materials. Just a little bit of a good practice there. Okay, so we're going to go to our next details front. Okay, that, this is all those details, uh, the details front and the details rear. Basically all those ones that we created for the inside of this. And I see one thing that I need to do is this front. I never put a back on it, so I need to do that. Not a big deal. But for this, um, definitely want something different, darker. Don't know necessarily that it needs to have a texture, but I am going to create a material uh, specifically for these front and back details. So I'm just going to choose new and call this details underscore front rear. And we'll leave it at diffuse for now. And I'm just going to darken it up quite a bit. And let's go ahead and darken up the viewport color so we'll know we've done something different there. Unfortunately, these items right here got caught up in the greebles, so I may separate those, separate those out just so I can get, you know, make sure they're not a bunch of um, very bright objects in that dark, mysterious area there. So that is those details. Uh, let's jump down, skip that one, and go to the rear one because basically I just want to give that the same material there. Now we can kind of back up and go to the front hull. And this is just those pieces that are sitting there. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have basically um, all of these pieces in, the, in this outer hull is going to be pretty much the same texture. I may make, may make these a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a new material. Choose new. And let's call this whole underscore outer underscore or I'll just make it uh, two 
and just darken it up a little bit maybe add a little bit of bluish tint so we know we did something there and another little trick you can do is when you do the viewport color if you want to make it just the same as you made it here you can just choose this I'm sorry come down here to the viewport color choose this grab the eyedropper and just grab that color or material there and that will take care of that okay so moving down to our next area Greebles we've already really done uh, the whole center details this is going to be different as well it might actually be more like these details in here but I will make them separate just in case that we decide to change them so new material and we'll call this it's pretty much the same thing whole underscore center underscore details and I'm going to make this pretty dark at least for now and you'll notice I am not really um, doing much with uh, changing around the actual nodes yet we're going to be getting into that shortly so looking at the the center inner hole again probably pretty close to the details on the hole but um, just in the habit of making these separate just in case you ever want to go back and you want to um, add a separate texture to it it'll make it a lot easier so just new material and I'm just going to name that hull underscore center underscore inner and just about the same darkness as I put the other one but not quite just so we know we can um, differentiate the two there and the next one is the outer hole so new material there I'm going to call it hole outer and change the color up just a little bit and again these materials these colors that I'm assigning to the materials just a placeholder holder we can at least it makes it so that when we go back we can adjust all of this um, you know as we take uh, test renders and things like that we can come back and easily adjust these colors um, and add textures to the ones that we want to have textures on it the front hole I'm going to use that same material that I just created so that's the hole outer the rear same thing assign that and again I think I probably will end up just duplicating this and putting it back there but I'll decide you know if I want to do that later and then we got the lamp which we don't need to do anything with and then we have the panels which is definitely going to have their own material so new and I'm going to call this panels underscore solar and just make it more of a blue kind of color here maybe a little bit darker okay so that's all our pieces I'm gonna go ahead and do control s to save and now that we got some uh, just basic materials assigned, it might be interesting just to go ahead and do a test render just to see what this looks like. Okay, so not extremely interesting with these different uh, materials, but at least what it's doing for us is it's breaking it apart so we know that the different areas that we need to deal with as far as changing the materials and the textures. And that really does it as far as the materials. In the next part, part 12, we're going to be looking at actually coming up with our textures, assigning textures, tweaking our materials to try to get the look that we're trying to get for this uh, spacecraft. So I'll see you in part 12.